and welcome to Emerge the Radio Show. I'm Dorothea Schuler, and we're so glad you're joining us. On this week's show, we'll be speaking with Lisa McCray Tabler, the CEO and founder of Get Excited, and also Tiffany, Deshana, and yours truly, who make up the Ladies of Emerge. We'll be talking all things Emerge Premier Weekend 2023. Of course, a little later, we'll be making a divine decision with me, Dorothea. Then we'll let Deshana drop some jewels on us as she gives her two cents on finance. But first up, like we always do around this time, we get to hear some amazing tips from Tiffany to help you emerge as a CEO. So come on, let's go and tiptoe over with Tiffany into the CEO corner. Emerge, emerge yourself. I'm Tiffany Boyle and welcome to the CEO corner. Let me drop some statistics on you. Women, I am calling all women CEOs. Did you know that 8.2% of Fortune 500 CEOs are women? Only 8.2%. And that's according to the 2021 Women CEOs in America. 8.2%. That's it. Research has shown that firms with more women in senior positions are more profitable, more socially responsible, and provide safer, higher quality customer experiences. And I could go on and on and on about more benefits. And of course, there is a clear moral argument for increasing diversity among top management teams. Women bring all of that. So let this be encouraging to you. We work hard and stay focused and we can increase the percentage of women CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. Here are some tips on how to do that. Stop volunteering for thankless tasks. This next one is super important. Learn how to say no, ladies. Sing your own praises and let others sing them as well. Women, we can accept a compliment. It's okay. Use a support system. Embrace your femininity. Don't reject it. Get yourself speaking engagement and stay true to you, your vision and your values. And I'm Tiffany Boyle and that's my tip from the CEO Corner. You're listening to the Emerge Radio Show. Hello, hello. We are talking with Lisa Get Excited Tabler, and I am so excited to have you on the show today. So Lisa, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, first of all, I just would like to say thank you so much for inviting me. I am just so humbled and honored to be here. Yes, so I am Lisa, the Get Excited Tabler, and I've been um, on this entrepreneurial journey since we met about, what, 2015, I think we met. I was a little discouraged. I was working for corporate America, had three kids. And every time I would come off of maternity leave, you know, I would get demoted. So, you know, I was like, okay, I'm tired of the rat race with the corporate America. So I told my husband, I wanted to um, stay at home and homeschool my kids. So I was able to come home and homeschool my three kids, get excited. That was a whole of a journey in itself to homeschool my kids. But I always wanted to have my own money because, you know, my husband, uh, he supported everything, but I got tired of asking him for money, money, money. He's like, you know what I'm saying? I wanted my own money. You know? Right, right. <laughs> so there began my journey of entrepreneurship. Stepped out there a little bit with the makeup, then the nutritional products and stuff like that. But then I was like, my heart and passion um, was for women like myself, who we had a burning desire. We just wanted to make a little bit of extra income, you know, just to get our nails done, you know, just to take a, a family vacation. So then I said, okay, how can I help those type of women who like myself? That's been my journey. No, that that to me is it's a, it's kind of a tough journey, but an exciting journey all in itself because we all know corporate America still does not treat women the same when (laughs) we, right, when we give birth, take care of the kids, go to work, cook dinner, clean up, and you still want to try to demote us? Like that, that to me is crazy. Exactly. Work your way up the ladder, then you come back and it's like, um, they don't value, you You know, they don't value your skills. They really, really don't. So I was just so disheartened. So I said, let me be my own boss, you know, because I was like, I'm tired of making somebody else's dreams come true. I want to make my own dreams. You know, wanted to, like I said, a little money to be able to, because I know my husband used to say, this is so funny, guys. He used to say, well, what am I buying myself this year for my birthday or for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, 
So I was like, okay, I want to make my own money because I don't want him to ask me, well, what am I buying myself um, this year? Look, but now that you make your own money, you should still ask them, what are you buying yourself this so year? Yeah, you look, <laughs> right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so then though, like I said, so I would, you know, we dibbled and dabbled. I was trying things and I don't like to say they was failure. I would just like to say they were learning experiences, you know, because I tried the network marketing scene and I had some success there. It works, but it's a grind. It's a hustle. It was taking me away from my family. You know, you have to be out there talking to people, meeting the people, growing the team. So I was like, ooh, I don't want to be away from the kids. So I was like, okay, I need to find something where I can do from home, from the comfort of my home. I want to be able to build something online so that I can stay at home with my kids. <laughs> and that was a whole I, other job. Look. Yes, 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 yes. So that's why I went and um, wanted to go to be able to, you know, do something, build my own dream and um, be able to stay at home. So I started my little Get Excited Coaching. It sounds far from little, number one. <laughs> and yes, your level of excitement, the smile since we've started this interview, like I, I, I'm smiling because you're smiling, right? <laughs> it's contagious. I'm literally smiling because you're smiling because you can't look at somebody else smiling and keep a straight face. Well, I can't. I don't know about anybody else. So talk to us about Get Excited. What is that and, all about? Right. And I'm glad you said that because Get Excited is about, it's a mindset. Just like you just had shared, you know, I'm smiling. So you're going to mirror back, right? Because I'm smiling. So if you say get excited, so it doesn't mean everything is perfect. It doesn't mean, you know, I don't have any problems. But when I say get excited, my body and mind has to line up with, because it's an excitement with that word, whatever I'm going through. So that's what the Get Excitement movement is about. It's about no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, no matter what you're going through, you can get excited. You can get excited about every area of your life. You can get excited about your journey because the reason you can get excited is because you can look back and you can see from where you came from. So even though you may be down in a valley on this entrepreneurial journey, there is going to be ebbs and flows, ups and downs, right? But we don't want to get stuck. And I have gotten there, but we don't want to get stuck there in the negativity. So get excited is number one, three simple things. Number one, you really want to get clear on where you want to go. We know that. Two, when you get upset, you get discouraged, you having your toolkit. What are these things are going to help me? So affirmations is one. I love, love, love affirmations. But you know what, guys? Another thing that I love is music. Get you a theme song. Get you some music. So when your boss says something or, you know, you don't get a sales call or something or somebody says no, put your music on. And I trust and believe I have put that music on. Get excited. Your mindset would definitely change. You would start positive things. Because again, when I say get excited, you have your body lines up, your mind lines up, your thinking shift. You know, you may be going through, but you know what? Your thinking shifts and then you you can think of ways, okay, I can make this call. Maybe I can reach out for some support. So that's what the Get Excited movement is all about. It's about getting excited about every area of your life, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like. You can get excited about every area on this journey. You just got to change your mind, get you a theme song, get you some music, but you also got to get you a community, got to get you some sisters, you got to get you a tribe, you know, you got to get you a tribe that's going to believe in you so when you call them, they can encourage you. So that's what the Get Excited movement is all about. I stand behind all of that. I feel like I'm on track because I say my affirmations. Good, I have good. my theme song. If y'all yeah. never heard, she did that by Tamar. When I tell you, I walk in feeling like I'm that and everything more. I got to do it every morning before work. Exactly. Sometimes on my lunch break, depending on how the day has gone. And yeah, I have a good tribe of like-minded women. Yes. So yes. It's hard sometimes when you feel like you want to step out and this is the vision you have and be an entrepreneur and people who still have that employee mindset well you make a decent living and why you want to do this and I'm like you can't prove read a vision that wasn't given to you I'm sorry it's not up for debate it wasn't a conversation piece this is what I'm doing so exactly. yeah I think I'm on track exactly you definitely on track and those are simple things 
Let's talk about the masterclass series. Is that fine, ladies? That I'm putting on. Yes. Um, Tiffany Cost is on um, one of the uh, speakers. Thank you. Thank you whoop, for coming on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And that yeah. was yes. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to bring together some powerful women who are doing it. Because we all know how to make goals, right? We know how to set out smart goals, lady, don't we? We know how to have our vision boards and we know how to have our affirmations. Get excited. But although we we have that, we still sometimes we're not making our goals. We're not achieving our goals. So I just wanted to bring some women together to ask us, why are we not achieving those goals even though we know how to set these big goals? And the thing so far with these women has been, it's the mindset. It's all in the mindset. You know, you can set your goals. You can write your affirmations. You can do your vision boards because I do um, a vision board. And you know, ladies, I used to do it with my kids when they were little. I would love it every year. You know, we used to do it, but now they grown. They don't want to do the vision board. But um, I do my vision boards. But then I start to think, okay, I have all these things on my vision board, but why are they not manifesting? The reasons were because what I was thinking, because what we think about, we bring about, right? And what we speak, we bring about. So I wasn't having those powerful crown conversations. I was having those negative conversations because again, when we do try to tell some of the closest people to us, sometimes they just don't understand our vision like you were saying, right? And oftentimes it's somebody that's close to us, really, really close, and they just don't get it because they they seen us, I don't want to say struggle, but they seen us trying and trying and trying. And I think they just really don't want to see us hurting, right? But they don't know how to express it. So they're like not really excited when we come with the idea, right? Right. <laughs> right. No, you preaching. Yeah. Uh, so Lisa, let me ask you this. This is one thing I found when I'm not hanging around like-minded people. And it comes a lot from my family and, and you know, my mom, which Tiffany's met my mom. My mom is such a loving, supportive woman. But if she sees me on, you know, doing radio interviews or doing stuff, meeting with clients for my business or doing stuff here and there for church, she'll say to me, don't you wear yourself out. Are you tired? And in my mind, I could have had all the energy. I'm like, you know what? I, ain't alone. I might be a little tired. I might need to not do that today. And I'm like, before somebody says something to me, I'm good and ready to go. But I'm like, you right, I do work out. Let me take a break. And then the break just always goes a little bit longer. Longer. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, exactly. Yes, I agree with you. So that's why, again, I just wanted to bring the women because it really is in our, um, you know, what our thoughts were. I wasn't having those positive crown conversations. I was picking up the negativity again. It was from loved ones. They didn't believe in me. So I was like, OK, no, I have to switch this thing. So I had to come up with my own method. So, again, you know, I'm doing my affirmation. I'm listening to my music. And I tell you that, that listen to my affirmations and that music and also gratitude though. Oh, that's key. That's number one. I'm spiritual and I think I know you ladies are spiritual as well, right? But that has to be number one first in our life. So we have to get up and have our quiet time. And I call mine tag. That means time alone with God. I call that my tag time. And I notice, ladies, if I don't get my tag time, though, some days my day is just like rushed. Have you all ever felt that? It's like rushed is off. It's like, ah. But when I get my tag time, any situations coming my way, I can breathe and relax and I can and have a positive response instead of negative. I could say, okay, let's see how we're going to figure this problem out instead of, ah, when I used to scream at my kids when we were homeschooling. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. No, I completely understand. It's like you're missing that piece out of your day. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't do my devotions this morning. I pause what I'm doing and I'll do my devotion. If you are just tuning in, you are listening to Emerge. I'm Tiffany Boyle with co-host is Shana Kemp Garnett. And we are talking with Lisa Get Excited Taylor. We are excited. Yeah, so, but for sure. To Shana, <laughs> going back to your point of Lisa smiling, so you like smile back. Mm -hmm. When we met in 2015, that's exactly like I was drawn to her because she was just so excited. And I was like, oh my God, and, you know, I'm super monotone. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great. Well, <laughs> Tiffany, you know how my face normally looks. There's enough pictures where people right. are like, who, who are you scowling at? And I'm like, I wasn't. And I'm looking, I'm like, well, I look mad, but I'm not. I wasn't mad. That's right. just my face. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then she gave my uh, her Get Excited book. And I, my, I forgot. If I did the math right, I forgot how old Amaya was at that point. But <laughs> she was all excited about having the book and she actually read it. It was too cute. Too, too cute. And it's a short read. I know I love the picture you have put on Facebook. I was like, oh. All right. Right. Yeah. So this.
this masterclass series that you put together, which is amazing, by the way, today hey. is February 8th. So my masterclass was yesterday. And so like, tell us how many women, what are some of the topics? And then how can people like sign up right. to listen? Because I know they're recorded. So you have what, 30 women or 30 plus women? Like, yes, 32 women. Yeah. Oh, wow. So what are like just some of the topics that were discussed and how can people see, like listen to the recording? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, I have 32 amazing women and the response have been just so wonderful. I mean, they were like, thank you. You picked some awesome, amazing women. Some of the topics are how to be your own boss. Woo woo. Then we have health and wealth topics. So we have we hit every topic. We have mindset, health and wealth topic. Great. Yeah. I can't wait to listen. So how do people like um sign up? Okay, yeah. They can sign up. You go to you got a girl 2023.com. 2023.com. Yeah, there's something for you if you are interested in how to shift your weight, lose weight, course goal setting, manifestation. We have things on how to build your Instagram following. We also have things on how to use text messaging. So it was something for everybody. And again, if you have low energy, how to shift your weight. We talk about your daily planner, how it may be failing you. We have entrepreneurship and leadership. So, I mean, there's a subject expert for every area of your life. So we have somebody to speak. That's what I wanted to bring it on. And I wanted them just to share with us again, because we know how to set our goals. I just wanted them to share some simple strategies that we can use that are actionable. So after you watch the interview recordings, you can actually be in action mode because they truly break it down. Something simple. I mean, we have something if you want to learn how to do webinars. It's just an array of things. And then the awesome piece is they offer freebies. So I have one um, speaker. She's offering a, a three-day vacation. Yes, get excited. And we have people that are offering memberships, offering free advertisement. So free coaching sessions. There's a plethora of things that um, are being offered. So, yeah. That sounds right up my alley. I heard that a lot of free. I like free. Yes, yes. Everybody's offering free, free. Yeah. I, I like free better than reduced. I'll take reduced. <laughs> It has an option, but I prefer free. That's too funny. No, thank you so much for putting that together. It's an amazing series and the women, you know, are just phenomenal and, you know, just teaches you so much. So really appreciate you taking your time to do that so that we can emerge and, and be yes. better. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love mm-hmm. that. Yes, yes. And I thank you that, yes, that you came on so you can help us emerge in 2023 and reach out goals. Look, and finally right. said we, we be, did it. That's right. We're going to be excellent in 2023. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we are. So we know it's you got it, girl, 2023.com. But how can people follow you and get in contact with you? I'm on Facebook. Get excited. Instagram, get excited. Twitter, get excited. LinkedIn, get excited. So all you have to do is put it. Lisa McCray Tabler, get excited. You can reach me on all those platforms. Very true. I, I literally put in get it, it. I got EX out and you popped up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's so funny. Somebody um on Instagram tried to ask me, about, they would pay me for get excited. I was like, no, I'm sorry. No, not at all. Exactly. <laughs> oh, no, get this. Exactly. No, no, no. That's you can tell you. <laughs> That is now your middle name. <laughs> yes. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> Well, it has been such a pleasure talking to you. It has been such a fun time, but we do have one last question for you. And that is our signature question. What does the word emerge mean to you? Mm, that's a good question. Emerge means to me, you're transforming from, mm, you know how like a butterfly turns in. So that's what you're doing. You're going from transformation to transformation. So you're emerging and you're becoming who you need to be to accomplish all your hopes and dreams. So that's what emerge means to me. I like it. I like it a lot. 
<laughs> and we're gonna get excited while we emerge. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna get excited while we emerge in every area of our life, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like. We are going to emerge, right? Yes, yes, that is right. So that I want right. I want you all listeners to get them a, a theme song, get them affirmation. If they do those two things, get that time in with God, so they can emerge and become all they want to be in 2023. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, ladies, so much. It's been a pleasure to speak with you all. Emerge, emerge yourself. Most of us like to be out in the sun. That's why sunscreen and other safety measures are key to protecting your skin from aging and cancer. The FDA recommends using a sunscreen with a sun protection factor, or SPF, of 15 or higher. Also, look for broad spectrum on the label. That means both harmful ultraviolet A and B rays are blocked. UVA rays age the skin, UVB rays burn, and both cause cancer. But the perfect sunscreen doesn't count if you use it wrong. Don't need sunscreen on a cloudy day? Wrong. 80% of UV rays still get through the haze. Only use sunscreen at the beach? Nope. Anytime you're outside, UV rays attack the skin, so you need protection. And you have to reapply sunscreen every two hours. Remember, SPF plus broad spectrum equal healthy fun in the sun. Visit www.fda.gov slash sunscreen for more information. A message from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. To protect her home and family in a disaster, Karen was willing to wade through water, mud, and insurance paperwork. Yeah, I can do this. You go, Karen. By simply understanding and updating what her insurance covers and doesn't cover now, she'll be better prepared no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Over the past few years, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected how we live our daily lives. Today, one in five Americans experience emotional and mental health challenges, but many of us do not understand what we are facing or how to ask for help. At the American Psychiatric Association Foundation, we work every day to eliminate stigma, combat mental illness and substance use disorders, and advance mental health. If you or someone you love needs help, you are not alone. Please visit mentallyhealthynation.org to learn more. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting A Teenager Learning the Lingo Today I'm going to help parents translate teen slang. Now, when a teen says something is on fleek, it's exactly like saying, that's rad. It simply means that something is awesome or cool. Another one is totes. It's exactly like saying, totally, just shorter. As in, I totes love going to the mall with Becca. Another word you might hear is jelly. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will think you're, um, rad just the same. To learn more, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. It's Emerge Wednesdays on WHOV 88.1 FM. Welcome back. I'm Dorothea Schuler, and you're listening to Emerge the Radio Show, the show that's all about entrepreneurs and business and is the premier information source for business owners. If you're just now joining us, Tiffany and Deshaina just spoke with the queen of excitement, Lisa McCray Tabler, the CEO and founder of Get Excited, a company all about women's empowerment. And she believed that the power of a conversation has the ability to transform your life. So if you missed her interview, you definitely want to catch up on all you've missed. And you can listen to any of our previous shows by visiting EmergeTheMagazine.com. Okay, every living being inevitably operates and proceeds throughout the course of their lives based upon a series of decisions. A decision is a conclusion or resolution reached after consideration. And divine means excellent, so we're making an excellent choice. With that being said, let's make the divine decision today to emerge. You can call it cliche, you can call it a play on words, and 
That's fair. I mean, the show is called Emerge, and I couldn't think of a better topic for this week's Define Decision. The dictionary's definition of emerge is to move out or away from something and come into view. I have the privilege weekly of hearing an array of different meanings and interpretations of the word emerge from our amazing guests and listener submissions. I'm excited to say that today's show is very special because Tiffany, DeShana, and I will be talking all things Emerge Premier Weekend 2023. So how fitting for today's divine decision to be in the like, the decision to emerge. It's funny how sometimes we have the opportunity to dig deeper into a foundation that we are familiar with and become accepting of our current knowledge remaining stagnant due to our own comfort level with what we already know or think we understand. Since I started writing Weekly Divine Decisions, I've had a deeper understanding of what it means to be unique and bold. I understand that truth is more than a word, but something we should walk in daily. I understand what it means to actually forgive someone, not just accepting their apology when they're sincere, but forgiveness when there is no apology. Because to forgive means to release. And when we release a burden, then we can walk in strength. And that strength isn't always displayed as a form of aggression but most powerful when we're meek, which doesn't mean weak, but strength under pressure. I've learned that a friend isn't someone who receives and not gives, and also that to be a true friend, we must show ourselves to be friendly, and that friendliness doesn't involve telling people what they want to hear, but the possible sacrifice of a friendship by telling them what they may not want to hear. The point is, I was okay with the process of my decision-making and the knowledge and level of understanding I had. And that was in most areas of my life, more than just definitions and decision I made to accept the weekly task of delivering meaningful content to our listeners actually turned into the exact foundation that would cause my personal emergence and character as an individual. I'm thankful to DeShana and Tiffany for giving me the opportunity to join the Emerge team. And I give all praises to God who has ordered my steps on this life-changing path to emergence. Yes, it required a lot more research of practical definitions than I expected. Also, surprisingly, a lot more reflection on my own life occurrences. Rewardingly, through my diligence, a process of transformation began within my life that bore more purpose and meaning. I'll leave you with something from my favorite book. One you could call a book of emergence, the Bible. It reads, but we all, with unveiled faces, looking as in a mirror at the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. So today, I challenge you, emerge with me, grow with me, and emerge into a deeper understanding of the current knowledge and acquire new revelations that can only take you from one level of glory into another. Join me by walking into our best lives and make the divine decision today to emerge, knowing this decision will ultimately help to shape and create a path that reflects a light of excellence in our lives. You're listening to Emerge, and this, my friends, has been another divine decision with Dorothea. You can make the decision to be a part of Emerge by submitting your response to our signature question. What does the word emerge mean to you? Share that with us on our IG at Emerge the Magazine. This week's response is from Siobhan Matthews. When I think of the word emerge, I think of something rising or coming forward. When something emerges, it is growing and has come into view. It can be an explosion or gradual, but it represents growth that is now visible to others. Nice, Siobhan. And if you want to follow Siobhan's growth and watch her emerge, you can do so on her IG at Siobhan Chantel. And that's C-H-E-V-O-N-C-H-A-N-T-E-L-L. Thanks for listening to the Emerge Radio Show. Up next, we want to keep the excitement going with the ladies of Emerge as we talk about the second annual Emerge premiere and gala weekend being held this September 2023 right here in Hampton Road. Emerge, emerge yourself.
Welcome back. You are still tuned into Emerge Radio Show. I am Deshayna Kemp Garnett, along with Miss Tiffany Ball and Dorothea Shula as the co-host today. And since we were talking with Lisa and we were talking about, you know, getting excited, I am so excited to announce our nominations for the Emerge Awards open February 1st and they will close on February 28th. So this is your opportunity to get your business nominated and potentially win an exclusive Emerge Award. Tiffany and Dorothea, are you excited? Okay. Exclusive. Yeah, you know, I am just so keeping excited. Up. Just keeping up. You know, we had some exclusives on the show um, this week. You know, we've had plenty of exclusives in the past. So I tell everybody, it's not a lot of people who can say they have an Emerge Award. So that True. is super diverse. I can't even say I have an Emerge Award. <laughs> right, we right. We don't we even have good one. point. Good point. I'm going to go and nominate myself. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, so like like you said, Deshaina, nominations are open. Uh, we We've already gotten a few. Um, and when I say a few, I mean like a few hundred already for nominating. So make sure you get your nominations in. You can either nominate yourself or you can nominate another business or entrepreneur that you know is doing excellent things. And then remember, this goes off of what they did last year. So it's going to be all of 2022, whether they were a new startup and Dorothea can go into more. They can be all over the state of Virginia, but we are only doing businesses and business owners in Virginia. And and it's super important to nominate businesses because it shows appreciation. They also get to be seen. And if anything, they get to social media shout outs and it helped their business emerge. And that is what we are all about. So Dorothea, do you want to go over the categories? I absolutely do. And that's a fact, Tiffany, you made a good point there. Let's just say, first of all, since Emerge is the premier information source for business owners, it is my pleasure to go over the nominees and the categories that you can um, nominate yourself or like Tiffany said, another person for and we have emerging entrepreneur. You guys know we talk about entrepreneurs all the time. Tiffany features her own CEO's corner. So yes, big up to the entrepreneurs. We have something that I love to hear Deshane's two cents about, and that is the most financial growth. Okay, I mean, people are in business, but there are so many times that we fail to realize that the financial operations are vital. If you don't have your financial together, then you are not set up for success, but failure. So I love that we had that category this year. Most social media growth. I mean, as we know, we are living in a time where if you're not on the gram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, I'm sure that I am leaving out like so many other platforms because everyone knows I'm like a farm girl, but most social media growth. So I know, you know, plenty of people to nominate businesses, pages, so get out there, give yourself props, give your people that you know prop and nominate them so they can be on the stage this year receiving their Emerge Award. We've got Best New Startup. That's not a surprise. We had that last year. And so encourage your people to get out there and let them know, like, we just started. And not only did we just start, but we're the best. We have Best Nonprofit. We know that business has so many different areas and nonprofits are so important because that's exactly what they are nonprofit. They depend so much on community grants, donations, volunteers. So please nominate the best nonprofit. We also have most influential. Say no more. I think the category speaks for itself. So like get to emergepremier.com and nominate yourself immediately. As they said, nominations started on the 1st and they close on the 28th. So don't be late. Get out there and get nominated. It. Tiffany said we already had a couple hundred and what is it like the third like get with it you better sound excited Dorothea you know what she said she said get with it I just want to say whoever is out there Dorothea what's that the nomination for most social media growth hey if you're, if you're nominating yourself or a business for that go ahead and slide my DMs and give me some tips and strategies so I can get my social media growth together so we can figure <laughs> out how to you know emerge the emerge magazine social media so if you're nominating yourself for that particular award reach out to us 
can give us some tips as well. Or reach out to us and say, hey, I want to be on the show. We are all for it. I love it. Deshayna always dropping jewels. I love it. So if you want to start nominating today, you can visit EmergePremiere.com. And that is Emerge, P-R-E-M-I-E-R-E.com. Or you can visit EmergeTheMagazine.com. It'll guide you to the Emerge Premiere. So we went over all the nominations. Do you guys think there will be any questions and we can further explain any nomination category? Do you think it's pretty clear? I feel like it's pretty clear. Deshana made a good point just now. As far as emerging entrepreneur, I do have a question about that. That seems like one of those categories that you could nominate yourself for as well as possibly another category. Are you able to nominate your business in multiple categories, Tiffany, if they qualify? Yeah, that is a great question. Yes, you can. You can nominate yourself for one or all or a few. You can totally do that. So like question to what we call the jewel dropper, Deshana. So would you say that everybody can nominate themselves first and foremost if they're a business for an emerging entrepreneur? I say yes. I would say make sure you read what you need to submit. If you make sure you understand the requirements and you can submit that documentation, I say go for it. I mean, it says shown growth in all areas areas of business in 2022 and this person should possess qualities such as perseverance, dedication, hardworking, and being a team player. And y'all know it's three of us, so we're all about the team. So nominate yourself. I know I think we I think we each of us deserve an emerging entrepreneur award just reading. I was about to say when I nominate myself, although I'm a part of emerge, I have a business too. I think I'm gonna just put my name so in the and see where the chip falls. <laughs> right. No shame. Y'all heard us. Like we're we're out here, you know, trying to get it too so if we nominate ourselves and happen to win don't think we rigged it it's because we were out there nominating ourselves and we right won. hilarious Both for us right yes <laughs> because what you get so you nominate a business business owner or entrepreneur then there's a voting period so you have until february 28th to nominate and then starting March 1st, people will be able to vote on if you are or will be the emerging entrepreneur. So this is pretty much the people's choice. And so it is it's pretty amazing to see how many votes I forgot. I think we had over what 5000 votes last year. And I think I'm lowering the number of how many people actually voted. And we restricted the area to just Hampton Road. So now it's open to all of Virginia. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have like over 20,000 votes. It's very exciting. And you get to win your chance to be featured in the magazine emerge magazine which a chance to be in an exclusive emerge photo shoot and a chance to win the emerge award which i think is excellent it is absolutely excellent i just wanted to interject now i know y'all probably have a lot of friends that are entrepreneurs and business owners and you might you know sometimes as an official close friend you know what they do but you might not have all the specifics make sure you put the right name of the business and the entrepreneur make sure every Everything lines up the way it's supposed to be because we would hate to have businesses with the same name. So just make sure you are very specific when you are submitting your nomination. I love it. Okay, so the Emerge, your chance to be featured in the Emerge magazine. This magazine will then be handed out to over 100 people that attend the Emerge All About Business Gala. And we're going to talk about more, talk about that more in a few. And a chance to win the Emerge Award. Now you have an award to add to your collection. This is like the Grammys of business. That is what you will be, the category you will be in, the prestige that comes with winning an Emerge Award. So remember, nominate now until February 28th. And and then we can move on to the three-day event all about entrepreneur, guys. Right. My, my bad. I was uh, kind of like on the nomination page for emerging entrepreneur. I'm going to go ahead back out, though. I was I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel not that you feel not the form already. Oh, right. Right. Really oh, trying right. to get this award. <laughs> Tiffany, we don't have right. to get I'm like the Shana award. when she goes looking for Instagram. Like, I've already found them. They're easy to follow. I'm like, I'm already on the nomination page. It's easy to fill out. <laughs> there is. If you are just tuning in, you're listening to Emerge, and I am Tiffany Boyle, along with uh, both co-hosts today. Aren't you guys special? You're in for a treat. The Shana Kemp Garnett and Dorothea Schuler, and we are sitting here just babbling about the Emerge Awards and now getting ready to talk about the three-day event all about entrepreneurs, and that is September 8th through September 10th, and we have some great things lined up for you. We have on September 8th, it's all about tech, and it's a networking mixer, which you 
you all know Emerge loves a networking mixer. And that is going to be at the Virginia Peninsula Community College. So more information to come on that. Saturday, September 9th is the big day. That is, the, it's all about business, Emerge Awards and Premier Gala. So that's when you get red carpet ready and be ready to be interviewed on the red carpet with tons of light and cameras and amazing people to interview you. And then on Sunday, you have uh, September 10th, we have It's All About Fashion Brunch and that will be at uh, the beautiful Monroe Rooftop. And this time we will have a best dress uh, contest and there, there will be one by the judges and one, of course, by the people's choice because the people's choice is my favorite. So right, are you guys excited? So maybe we can't get an emerging award, but I know I'm about to take home best dress. I know you I'm about to, to be the people's choice. Say that. Say that, Deshaina, okay? Last year was dope, but I'm already getting ready this year, okay? And I'm so glad I don't have to hold my stomach in this year because I know that what did I learn at the panel last year? What is it called? Undershaping? Like, shapewear? Like, ladies, get the right shapewear so your clothes can fit in all the right places. So I don't have to work as hard as I did last year. I can breathe this year. Oh, my goodness. You, that was, yep, that's a good thing to pop up. But you know what I remember from last year, which was a beautiful day, and we had it in October last year, and all of us, well, most of us had on, I know I had on fall gear, and it was like summertime outside in October. So I will be appropriately <laughs> dressing this year for the season. <laughs> <laughs> and I probably have multiple choices of outfits this time, just in case the weather decides to act crazy. That part. So what what are you guys most excited about, about the three-day event? I'd have to say the gala. How about you, Deshaina? The gala, for sure, I feel like, eh, just the red carpet, when you said the red carpet. <laughs> Imagine the red carpet, but like Dave Chappelle time, because we had Go Talk Radio, who was just on the show, and those guys are funny. They know how to get you relaxed, and talk talking about making you laugh by asking what your top five whatever genre is and then like I mean let's just talk about Gavington he's so dapper so it was just awesome just to have the different you know hosts and I can't wait for that part I have to say Shay you got to come down with me so what was your favorite part to see him my favorite part was absolutely the gala because I felt like that was you know the pinnacle event you know I I'm all about coordinating my family so you know we bust in there with our goal I have my, my husband, of course, my amazing husband, my kids, my father, and my sister. And as a family unit, we were coordinated. So just for them to be able to see what I have been working on all year, the hard work and the sacrifice, and having them by my side to decorate, you know, that was hands down the best experience for me. Yes, you guys were. You guys came in looking like the first family. I was like, yes, get it. That was, you guys were beautiful. And I do want to shout out Jay Smith Entertainment, Jason Smith. They helped us coordinate. They helped us the day of. I mean, just, just we had a great team who it really helped us word. Put, they put they are together. on the spot as you said they're on the spot yeah and I think my favorite I did love the gala but I would have to say the fashion brunch because we all know I love brunch but I also love a time where I can dress a little outside of the box from my norm and I feel like a little New York City came out in Hampton <laughs> Roads last year so I'm hoping to do the same thing and make it better this year so everybody can get in their LA New York City gear <laughs> yeah Yes, yes, facts. We definitely had a good time after the brunch just because we were dressed up. Like we felt like we were on top of the world. We ended up going to another event and it was so hilarious because we were like 10 times overdressed, but we were joking like, hey, since we're all together, it's like we're on our own little show. So we really <laughs> like just enjoyed everything that the, you know, the weekend, the brunch, everything. It was just a vibe. It was a vibe for sure. Yeah, it was great. So when you nominate somebody, they have a chance to win the Emerge Awards. You have until February 28th to nominate. And then all month of March, you have an opportunity to vote for one or all of the beautiful people that will be nominated. We are excited. And this brings the business community together. This is what we are all about, supporting each other, helping each other grow and watching each other emerge. And that is why we put together the Emerge Presents a three-day event all about entrepreneurs and the Emerge Awards. Because again, this is 
like the Oscars, the Grammys for business owners. This is our chance to celebrate us in a great way. So remember, visit EmergePremiere.com or EmergeTheMagazine.com. Do you guys have anything to add? So I do have one thing to add. And Tiffany, I'm going to I'm gonna throw this ball to you. Right? I'm putting this in your court because you're so amazing at it. Talk to no us boy. about, say I'm a business owner. I want to be part of these events and I want to sponsor. Talk to me about what I would need to do to help out with sponsorship or partnering with Emerge for these this three-day event. Yeah, if you, that is a great question. If you want to be seen even more, because again, there are only six categories for the Emerge Awards. So, but if you want to make sure that your business is seen and to contribute to such a great event, um, great events, then you can sponsor and you can email us at, um, you can do tiffany.emerge at gmail.com or you can reach out via those two websites. Again, it's emergepremiere.com or emergethemagazine.com and we will contact you as soon as possible and give you the red car- tre- red carpet treatment for being a sponsor. Absolutely. Thanks well, so much. I thought the people might want to know that. I feel like, you know, once people know that we are up and running and we are full, you know, full steam ahead, we're planning the three-day weekend, they are going to want to be a part of that. So you heard Tiffany, email her or reach out to us on our website. And hey, we are not above. If you want to slide in a Facebook message or a DM, we will kindly accept that as well. I love it, right? Just call us Jenny from the block. But Tiffany said something that was so profound and I just thought that it would be fitting to just add that Emerge is all about entrepreneurship and she was you know commending what Deshana said about how her family set up the event it's because they are entrepreneurs she comes from an entrepreneur background you know Tiffany started with Deshana Emerge the magazine you know I met Tiffany through my own entrepreneur business you know which I'm no longer doing but the point is the fact that small businesses just combine to network and allow other businesses to grow, get exposure. And it's just an awesome, awesome feeling to be a part of it. And I think that's what Emerge just, you know, in general represent. So I just thought that I would bring that up to you ladies. Right. We live, we live, we practice what we preach. Let's put it that way. That is for sure. That is for sure. All right. Well, again, reach out to us, go on the website. You can visit us um, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we look forward to seeing you guys in September. Mom, can I have a dollar? My purse is upstairs on my bed. It's not here. Uh, What about your sister's room? Nope. Uh, The upstairs closet? Uh, No. The downstairs closet? Mom, there are no more closets. I'm sorry, honey. It was right here all along. Moms everywhere are finding ways to keep their kids active and healthy. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. Brought to you by the USDA, HHS, and the Ad Council. Greg met his mother at their weekly dinner spot. She was about 15 minutes late because she took a wrong turn. They chatted through the meal, and she mentioned that she stopped playing cards with her friends. After eating, she excused herself and asked directions to the ladies' room. Greg missed three warning signs of Alzheimer's. Did you? Know where Alzheimer's and all dementia hide. Learn more at alz.org slash 10 signs. Brought to you by the Alzheimer's Association. This is the story of a very special woman. In a matter of seconds, she turned herself into a great mathematician or an entrepreneur. Her knowledge was limitless and still is. She could also make monsters disappear, especially those that lurked in the shadows under the bed. Once, this woman put back together a teenage girl's broken heart, which had been shattered in a thousand pieces, just by giving her a bear hug. She masqueraded as a regular person at work, but as a superhero at home. Everyone knows her as Gabriella. I still call her mom. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help, complete with tips and resources, at aarp.org caregiving. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. What if one day you went to your secret hiding place, and instead of what you came for, you found a phone number, 1-800-662-HELP? What would you do? Would you stop and give it some thought? Before drugs take their toll on you and your family, know that there is help. You can quit. 
for help with drug use, call 1-800-662-HELP for free and confidential information and treatment referral, or go to samhsa.gov slash know the risks. Over the years, you've brought them into your home. You were prescribed opioids after the C-section and after dad's back injury. They helped when you were in pain, and you held on to them just in case. But did you know holding on to unused opioids puts your family at risk? Trouble with opioids can start at home with unused medicines, such as pills, patches, and syrups. You can remove the risk and protect your family. Find out how at www.fda.gov slash drug disposal. It's Emerge Wednesdays on WHOV 88.1 FM. I am Deshana Kim Garnett, and it's time for my two cents. Hello and happy Wednesday. I'm so delighted to be here talking to you again and sharing my two cents. So all throughout January, I talked about having a plan for your business, having a plan for your finances. I gave you some tips. I told you, hey, what's your vision? Did you write down your goals? But most importantly, did you know where you were financially? Did you know all your debts? I know everybody took my advice. I know you sat down and you figured it out. So that's what we did for January. So I love to get up and share with you valuable information, stuff that I use in my everyday life. And there's this app I use called Mint. Mint allows me to have a great financial snapshot of where I am in my business or my personal life. I'm able to track, you know, all my bank accounts there, any of my credit cards, any of my debts. I can see how much money I have coming in. I have to see how much money I have going out. You know, it'll give me notifications on a weekly basis, monthly basis. I can put financial goals in there and it tracks it. I can see where I am with my credit score. It's just for me an overall great app. Mint is everything to me. It's so very useful, but I just want to be clear. Mint is not paying me for any of this. I just find it as a very useful app and I want to share it with you because, you know, I love sharing with you valuable information. I love to do research. So I was looking on their website and Mint has provided a February financial calendar. And that calendar focuses on actionable tips that you can use to deal with debt and get your finance back on track. I'm not saying you're off track, but if you are, or if you want to remain on track, if you need to course correct, here are some things you can do to improve your financial standing over the course of 2023. All right. So the financial to-do list for February, the first thing was to create a list of current debt. Now the calendar has this on February 2nd, but of course it's never too late to get started. So you want to make sure you're including any of your student loans, credit card balances, auto loans, and your mortgage payments. Just make sure you're including all your debt. Number two, rank your debt and choose your method of payment. This should take place on February 6th. There's different methods of how you want to, you know, pay off your debt. You have the avalanche method where you pay the debt in order of the interest rate, starting with the highest interest rate. The greatest benefit of this is that you're going to pay less interest in the long run. But the biggest drawback is that the highest interest accounts may take time to pay back, which could impact your motivation. Now, if, you know, talk to your financial professional, talk to your tax professional, see what's going to be better for your situation. If you're using interest, you know, as one of your business deductions, just make sure, figure out which method will work best for you. The second method is snowball. That's paying debts in order of the balance amount, starting with the lowest. The good benefit of this is that you can get rid of smaller accounts quicker, which will help keep you motivated. The biggest drawback is that you're going to pay interest in the future. The third thing you want to do is determine your debt to income ratio. We do that February 9th. Your debt to income ratio is a key indicator of whether you're living within your means or not. So you take your total monthly debt payments divided by your monthly gross income times 100, and that equals your debt to income ratio. It's going to give you a percentage. The next thing we want to do, and I know for some of us it's scary, but set up automatic payments for your debt account. We want to do this on February 17th. Make sure you're getting them paid. Make sure the money is there an account and set up those automatic payments. Number five, find three ways to reduce your spending. If you want to pay off debt faster, you got to throw more money at it. So find more ways to pay it off faster. Um, and that should be done on February 25th. And the last thing, February 28th, check in with your debt progress at the end of every month. It is so vital to know where we are. Once you start tracking it and doing, following all these tips, there is going to be light at the end of this tunnel. I promise you. I'm Deshana Kemp Garnett, and that's my two cents. 
Here's what's coming up in Hampton Roads. Let's take a look at some local and regional activities. Nominations have opened for the Emerge Award. Nominations will close February 20th, 2023. To nominate yourself or a business, visit EmergePremier.com. Friday, February 10th, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. The Business and Pleasure Charity Mixer. Join us for a great cause to support children with autism. It will be an evening of socializing to tap into new connections with business developers, startup founders, and community owners. Tickets are $35. This will be at 6204 North Military Highway in Norfolk, Virginia. To purchase your ticket or find additional information, visit eventbrite.com. February 18th, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Black Business Brunch Echo. Join Norfolk Public Library for a light brunch as we listen to local businesses introduce themselves and the services they provide. If you are a local Black-owned business and would like to be featured, visit campus757.com for additional information. A special thank you for the guests on today's episode. To listen to past episodes, visit EmergeTheMagazine.com. Emerge, emerge yourself. You've been listening to the Emerge Radio Show. All opinions expressed on this show are that of our guests and may or may not be shared by the Emerge Radio Show staff. Follow us on Facebook. Search Emerge Radio Show on Instagram, Emerge the Magazine, and online, emergethemagazine.com. Emerge.